LTI 1.3 integration with Moodle in action. LTI 1.3, which is also known as LTI Advantage. Hi guys, my name is Ramnik, and today you are going to learn and see LTI 1.3 integration with Moodle. Uh, in this demo, you are going to understand and see overall technical workflow and deep linking UI workflow along with LTI resource launch. Okay, uh, this is a deep dive demo. Uh, so you must have watched my previous introductory video, uh, this one, which is, you know, which was around what is IMS LTI 1.3. So now let's understand uh, what is this LTI 1.3 integration in practice. Uh, to understand this, uh, let's take an example. Um, let's assume that you have a, a you have built a learning tool, uh, which is uh, uh, which is let's let's say example, you know, math like math application, and you want to integrate this math app with the Moodle, and you want instructor uh, to come to your platform and select whatever items or you know learning object they want and. And those learning objects should go back to LMS as a linked object. Similar way, uh, you want student must be able to launch your math app and student progress uh, must go back uh, to the LMS. And some additional functionality like you want to, uh, you want to create, uh, you know, like you want to replicate a class from Moodle to your application so that you can have similar class roster, like, you know, like like instructor students have in the Moodle. And you can have the same progress available on both the places. So as a typical LTI 1.3 integration uh, uh, has basically uh, three key pieces. One is called deep linking UI workflow, uh, you know, which is the most important one, uh, where, you know, where you send a deep link request from the Moodle and and, and it, is all, it is always going to open in a pop-up and it expects that you send a response back in the form of LTI deep link response. And when it gets that, it is going to create a link in the Moodle. Then you can, you know, the same link, uh, you know, will be the LTI resource link, which is going to launch your content. And as an optional activity, you can send the progress back, you can get uh, roster information, and you can even uh, get the, you know, the, the grade book for the whole class. Okay, uh, so now let's go back to the demo and let's see this thing in action. So this is the uh, sample Moodle app, uh, now let me log in. So let me log in as an instructor. So I have created a demo course. Uh, let's assume as an instructor, I have created a uh, you know, few topics in my course. Uh, now I want to uh, integrate my math content into this topic. Let me turn editing on. Uh, let's add an activity. Uh, this is the external activity. So it is available under, uh, you know, like uh, activity external tool. Okay, so now let me select content. So this content is not coming from Moodle. Uh, this is coming from you know the dummy math app, uh, and we can see all these uh, uh, you know like learning content uh, list available for me. I can pick and choose whichever I want. Uh, for this particular topic, let me go with this. And let me save. So I have created uh, one uh, uh, link over here. So now let me add few more links. And this and this top and for this, let me add a second item like this uh, from 
different category. So I have added one item under here and one item under counting and cardinality. Now, now you can see the power of deep linking. I don't need to remember, uh, you know, or copy paste any deep link URL or you know any kind of LTI URL. I can define my course with full freedom. The only thing I have to do is dynamically link whichever item I want to integrate. number and operations let's take number and operation item over here and let me launch it so i have created uh, one item in each uh, so now let's see if i can get a you know a line item over here so I, as you can see i have line item entry as well for these three items i can even add as many item i want there is no restriction and if I delete uh, any of the existing item, the same way uh, gradebook entry will go away. I can add one item or I can add multiple item. Uh, you know. So I've created two items. One is A3, another one is C6. So now, uh, let me uh, let me uh, turn off the editing and let's log in as a student to see the same view from a student perspective. So similar way, student can see the topic, and if I click on this topic, there are two items which I can, uh, you know, I can launch, and if I can do grade, I can see. Okay, I have gradebook entry for each. Okay. So now I'm going to launch A3. Similar way, uh, this content is not coming from Moodle. This content is coming from Sample uh, Math App. So it is nice, right? as you can see, it is matching here. You launch this item, this is the information which application has. I can even go to the next topic. Similar way, I can launch any item. ID to ID match. So it knows which item I'm launching. Uh, so now let's dig deeper. Let's understand how this thing is working. So for that, let's log in as an instructor one more time. Let me launch here and let me turn editing on. So it looks simple, like, you know, like it, it, that you just need to integrate a page, but it is not like that. Let me show you. So now let me launch the developer tool so that I can show you what is happening in the background. Okay, so now let's let's see what happened in the background. So LTA 1.3 supports two URL. One is the basically URL for OIDC process, you know, like over two kind of a process. And then there is a second URL, which is your application. In this case, login page is representing a, a OIDC workflow and launch is the application, which is showing this kind of content. So now let's see what we got from LMS when it make a call for login. So the most important parameters are issuer, you know, which is the, you know, the source application, which is making this request. Then the target, it is, it can be just one URL. So it is a registered URL. So it is saying, hey, this URL uh, is a issuer. This is the target link and some additional information. Okay, so now let's move to the next item. So here 
we have sent this same information because uh, we need to get a token and to get a token we have to send the same information back to the lms we are saying hey this is the client id you know uh, which is the configuration uh, which we have done in the lms so that my tool can understand okay this is the request which i have to match and this is the most important parameter nonce uh, which is the you know that uh, identifier between sessions so i requested uh, lms to give me the id token by passing this information so lms has this client id information as well as uh, uh, as this url which is configured uh, with this client id so now let's see if i get a id token from lms or not okay so i send those parameter uh, lms uh, yeah, you know lms will verify all those things especially the nonce target link and so on and then it will give me the id token once i get the id token we are good so now let's understand what is written in this id token so this is the uh, jwt site uh, you know that over to run based on the jwt model so if you know the JWT, it has three parts, uh, you know, the header information, payload, and the and the signature, uh, which is, you know, like the public key. So this is the payload we got. So now let's take uh, this payload and let's try to understand. So this is the payload. Let's open this payload into the JSON viewer. Okay, uh, so this is my session. Uh, uh, this is the uh, issuer, the LMS. This is the client ID, okay? Uh, this is the expiry and this is the start time. Let's understand, and this is the user who launched this thing, their name. Let's understand the role, it is the instructor. Uh, it is a, a deep link uh, request, so it will always be, you know, uh, the, the blank. Uh, um, it will never have, you know, the choice of you know, opening a new window and so on. Uh, some more information regarding my tool setup. So now let's get into the other information. Like for example, uh, what kind of response it is expecting? It should expect uh, you know LTI response, uh, LTI uh, response. Uh, let me show you. Uh, so it accept LTI resource link so that it can launch uh, LTI item is it accepting a single link or multiple link that is this is the parameter which is telling me hey this accept more than one link to be created at one time what is the return url so if i want to create a deep link this is where we have to send the request so this is how uh, the, that this page is uh, working so now if i say i want to add this item uh, Then I have to send the same information back to the URL provided by uh, the request. So now let's review that one. So this is the URL which we got from the request. So now we let's see what parameter we have sent. So again, all the communication must happen with JWT. Both application has their own public key so that they can uh, decrypt the information. So this is the payload which goes to LMS to make a decision. So it is saying, hey, this is the kind of a deep link response. Uh, this is the type of the resource link which we want to launch. This is the title which we want to see in LMS. And this is the destination which must match and my learning object ID as a custom parameter. And this is my client ID, you know, which should match with the client ID along with the resource, uh, uh, which along with the LMS URL. Now let's go back. So here we got a response and I just need to press the save and that link is added. So now let's summarize. So we send 
a deep link request to this dummy math app. And as a response, it gave me LTI deep link response uh, format. And it can always have only LTI kind of a resource link. So I created LTI resource link into the LMS. And then you launch LTI resource link and it is going to launch your content. Then some additional service if you want to use like, you know, like great book and membership, uh, which I'm going to cover in the next video. Uh, let's summarize. Uh, today you saw LTI 1.3 uh, integration with uh, with Moodle. You saw the power of uh, deep linking, uh, uh, you know, UI flow like search, select, insert, and so on. You saw how deep linking response came back from the you know tool to LMS. Then you also saw uh, you know item launch, you know, and you also saw what is happening in the background like JWT and, and payload. Okay. Uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for your time.